A boat took three hours to travel 24 kilometers with the current. On the return trip, the boat took five hours to travel 24 kilometers against the current. Determine the speed of the current. So these are typical word problems, sometimes a bit challenging unless you practice them and draw a picture and use the standard formula, distance is equals to velocity times time. So we have a picture here, 24 kilometers long track. So the boat's going from point A to point B and it's coming back. So what we have here is trying, we're trying to find the, the speed of the current. So we're gonna just let S, I'm gonna draw the S funny so I don't confuse it with the number five, be the speed of the current. So when you think about the distance, we, we're given the distance is 24. 24 is equals to the velocity times the time. So on the way going this way, we're, it took us three hours. So the time here is three. What's the velocity? The velocity is gonna be a little bit faster because we're with the current. So it's gonna be whatever the velocity of the boat is plus S since we have the, uh, the speed of the current. Probably should have called this variable C, but that's okay, it doesn't matter what variables we use. So S is the speed of the current. So we have a nice equation here, a linear equation. So on the return trip going this way, the boat took five hours. So we still have the same distance. Distance equals velocity times time. So we still have 24 is equals to some velocity times the time, the t, which is five. So the question is, what's the velocity now? Again, the boat still has the same velocity, the same horsepower. So it's going v. Now in this case, it's going against the current. The word against means we're, we're actually slowing down. So here we're gonna be losing some velocity, which is minus the speed of the current, minus s. So we have two equations now, one and two. These two equations help us eliminate one of the variables and we can solve for, for the variables. We're trying, to find the, we're trying to find s. So let's use some basic algebra to simplify this. We have equation number one, 24 is equals to, this is a distribution, we're gonna distribute the three times V, three times the S. This is three V plus three S. This is equation number one. What about equation number two? 24, let me just uh, do equation number two a little bit closer up here. 24 is equals to, again, I'm gonna use distribution, five V, five V, minus 5s. Now I want to solve for s and we want to make the v's go away. We can do so because we have two different equations. Now to make the v's go away, when I look at equation one and equation two, we can actually multiply both equations by different values to cancel these out. So when I think about the numbers three and five, for the v's to cancel out, the LCM of three and five would be 15. So I wanna somehow make this equation number one, rewrite it so that we have uh, 15 V. So I'm gonna rewrite this as 15 V, this is equation number one, so I'm multiplying by five to get 15. So if I multiply 24 times five, we have 24 times five, enter is equals to 120. So we have 120 and then we multiplied everything by five so far. So five times three is 15 S. So this essentially is still equation number one, just simply we multiply both left, left side and right side by five, which we're allowed to do. So this is still equation number one. Let me just erase that for clarity's sake. And equation number two, we wanna make this V also 15. So we're gonna multiply everything here by three. So we're gonna make this into a 15 V when we multiply 24 times three, 24 times three is equals to 72, minus, multiply five by three is 15. So we essentially rewrote our equation two as follows. 72 equals 15 V minus 15 S. Now what we can do 
is we can simply subtract the two equations. So 120 minus 72 is 48. So we're subtracting top minus bottom. 15v minus 15v is 0v, which I'm not going to bother writing. And we have 15s minus 15s. Now be careful when you're subtracting one equation minus another, be careful about the double, double negative signs. So we have 15s minus negative 15s. So this is essentially becomes a 15s plus 15s, becomes a 30s. So we have 30s is equals to 48. So when I divide both sides by 30, we solve for s, which is what we wanted. So 48 divided by 30 is equals to 1.6. So we solved the speed of the current, which is 1.6 kilometers per hour, choice A.